listen y'all after this NCLEX I'll be back you know trying to look cute or whatever but I'm just not finna try to look cute every single day you know what I'm saying like I, I, I want to be comfortable <laughs>
and um electrolytes and lab values so i have to do that um it's lecture six um it says dumping hh electrolytes and hyperkalemia stuff like that so electrolytes pretty much so since that stuff can easily go on a you know on a note card while he's talking i'm just going to be doing the note card and then after that today i'm just going to spend all of my time um since that's my last lecture i'm going to spend all of my time doing note cards and practice questions that's it so once i do my note cards i'm just, i'm going to walk around my apartment complex and i'm just going to you know review my note cards until i feel like i know them all and then um i'm gonna come back and probably eat something and then i'll do my um questions um i'm gonna use kaplan so i'm gonna use i'm gonna do uh practice questions i'm gonna do practice exams for the nclex plus that i have what are gonna do just randomized you know questions and then after that i'll be using kaplan to do because that was something that was included in our tuition as well so um, I'll be using Kaplan to do practice questions and that one goes up to 145 questions. So since NCLEX has 145 questions, like the most questions you can take now since, you know, of COVID, I'm going to do 145 questions. I don't know. I, honestly, I don't know how many I should do because um, lately, like I, be do, I do 50 questions and it takes me about 30 minutes. So if I feel like if I do 100 questions, it's going to take me about an hour, um, an hour or so. So I feel like but that was without dosage count. So maybe I can do a hundred questions um, first, or maybe I should just do 75. I'm gonna do 75 questions first and then work my way up. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do 75 questions, a hundred questions, and then 145 questions. So that'll be my goal today. I'm gonna do my cards all day, do a hundred questions, or eat, do a hundred questions, do my cards again, come back. I mean, okay, so I'm gonna do my cards, <laughs> do my cards, eat do 100 questions go and do my cards again i mean <clears throat> eat and do 50 questions go and do my cards again um do um 100 questions then cards and then 145 and then cards just for like a final review and i feel like that's what i'm gonna do probably for the next few days and then um i just i'll just go like depending on how well i'm testing I'll change it up, you know, I'll change it up for that. So typically what I've been doing, I think the lowest grade I've gotten when I've been doing these exams um, was a 70 and um, that's pretty bad for me, but I feel like that might be passing for NCLEX. I'm not sure because I don't know how the point system works, but that's the lowest I've gotten. So I don't feel too bad about that. And that's with me strictly just going based off of what I heard without doing NCLEX. I mean, without doing the... Um, the note cards without actually reviewing the note cards. I wrote them down, but I didn't review them. So it's not like I actually studied for it. So it was just like, okay, after I got done hearing it, I wrote it down and then I test off. I test on it what I could remember based off of just that. Yeah, so that's what I'm about to do right now. Um, just listen to this last little one. Y'all, I'm coming to y'all raw and unedited. So it is what it is. So I was already on here because I, I went to bed around like 4 o'clock last night, but I stopped studying around 2 a.m. No, or like 1.30. I stopped, I stopped studying around like 1.30 a.m., but I took a nap yesterday, so I could not sleep very well. Um, I was still like awake. So then after I went to bed, I was fine going to sleep, but I was so awake. I stayed up like an extra like hour and a half. Oh, Lord, I stayed up too long. I said it's like 4 o'clock in the morning. So, all right. So... Um, I've already listened to 50 minutes of this. It's an um, hour and 26 minutes. And then I'll be done. So excited. All right. Calcemias do the opposite of the prefix. I'm going to go back on, to they just, It's going to take a while to get it out. Tendons will never respond, but they're rousable. Yes. Stupor and obtundent are often considered to be the same idea. Stupor is more a generic word. Obtundent is more of a medical term. Okay. Usually, you know, well, I won't go there. It doesn't need to happen. Okay, calciums. Calcemias do the opposite.